upon us. Susan Furness has the Labor Day holiday off. And welcome to our second half hour, everyone. We are live once again at the Eastern Idaho State Fair. Hello everyone, I'm Carol Honus. I'm reporting for KIFI Local News 8 in Idaho Falls, Idaho. We are in the path of totality. We're going to get to see a major celestial event today. Yeah, she has signed on thousands of times throughout the years. Tonight, Carol Honus signs off for the final time. You're watching Local News 8 at 6. Local people, local news. Good evening, Eastern Idaho. Uh-oh, I already have a little quiver in my voice. <laughs> Where this, did that it come from? I was, don't, that surprises so me. Well. That surprises me. Uh, this is my last broadcast for Local News 8. Uh, it's been a great 30 years. An honor to come into your home every night. Yes, it has, Carol. Uh, we will share your journey with our viewers tonight. That's coming up a little bit later. We're going to kind of get our breath and get our feet under us here and uh, get to the news of the day. I think that's uh, exactly the right thing to do. We can we can do that. I can power through. You want me to take this one? Nah, I'm going to do it and do it right. Okay. All right. Fitting. So in local news tonight, members of the Shoshone Bani tribes are headed to the polls today to collect three new tribal council members. Now, six people running for the three seats that are up for grabs. The council position is full time, two year commitment. Voting is happening in person. The tribal members are being asked to bring their own pens and wear a face covering. And the polls are open until 8 p.m. tonight. And Todd will have election results for you just as soon as they are available. Did you see when that kicked in? She just did it like a pro. <laughs> Very fitting. Thanks, Carol. Uh, Intermountain Packing he is set to begin construction of a, a new beef and bison processing plant in Idaho Falls next month. Uh, many ranchers have seen problems lately sending their cattle off to slaughter because many processing plants in the Midwest were closed down due to the pandemic. And this has resulted in empty meat shelves. The Midwest head of cattle per day compared to only a dozen per day regionally. Intermountain Packing is hoping to offer a plant that can process 500 cattle per day to distribute nationwide. General Manager Bob Sterling says they are also bringing many opportunities to the people of this area. 200 new jobs here in the Idaho Falls area with this new plant. These jobs will provide benefits such as uh, health insurance, uh, vacation time, uh, and many benefits. And uh, the average wage will be $15 an hour. The 50,000 square foot plant will look like this. It will be right along the Iona Road area between Holmes and 15th Street. Uh, the plant is set to open next fall. You know, many of you turn to the community food basket of Idaho Falls to help keep the families fed during these very trying times. Local News 8 reporter Chelsea Breyer explains the organization is now asking for the community's help. Since the shutdown began in March, the Community Food Basket in Idaho Falls reports an increase of 75 to 100 percent in the number of people seeking assistance each month. Executive Director of the Food Basket, Ariel Jackson, says these numbers seem to be the new norm versus even just six months ago. Since people started getting laid off, we went from seeing about 40 families a day to 70. Um, we also started doing a mass community distribution once a month where we're serving more than a thousand families in three hours. Um, so our, our organization has gone from serving about 1,200 families a month to more than 2,000. Most volunteers at the Food Basket were retired community members who are 65 years or older. The Food Basket told them to stay home out of precaution and many have not returned for good reason. I need some, some new committed volunteers to come in and help us set up teams for every day uh, so that we can continue to operate at the level that we're operating at now. The community food basket runs about 4,000 pounds of food per day from the warehouse to the distribution center. With limited staff on hand, this puts families in need at risk of not getting the food they need. If we don't start seeing some more volunteers coming to help us, we're going to have to start limiting our services, which I think would be really detrimental to, to the community. The food bank is now drive through only and families are having to sit in their hot cars to wait on the limited amount of volunteers who are showing up to help. The lack of staffing is placing a strain on the volunteer teams who are operating at about half the number they need. We have lines around the building every day and to not be able to be open to give them food would be hard not only for us but for everyone. It would affect everyone. 
So we're concerned about that. The community food basket gains most of their food from food drives, which have now been canceled due to the pandemic. They are running out of shelf-stable foods in their warehouse. We're serving families Monday through Friday all the time, and so we need some things that maybe they could put on their shelf for a meal later in the week. The community food basket is asking for volunteers to help feed our hungry community. They are also accepting donations at multiple locations. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Chelsea Breyer. You can call the community food basket at 208-524-0994 for more information on how you can help. We are just now getting word uh, tonight that crews are responding to a fire just north of St. Anthony. Angie Young shared this picture to us. You can see it shows the smoke from a distance. Uh, no word yet on a possible cause or how much is burning. It's just a beautiful day out there, other than a slight amount of haze from some smoke and wildfires, of course, but nothing like we were dealing with earlier this week. We can actually see and enjoy that blue sky over Pocatello. In the meantime, wind speeds are nice and gentle as well, and thunderstorms are keeping their distance, at least from eastern Idaho. We're watching as one thunderstorm tracks right towards Twin Falls area, but that one is going to kind of fizzle out, and it's going to take a long time to try to push eastward, so we're not really counting on much rain for eastern Idaho tonight. Here your current wind speeds not registering any wind right now in Rexburg and Idaho Falls five miles per hour is all we have for Pocatello and those temperatures are beautiful just into the 80s again with lots of sunshine the next time we see a day like this Carol's going to be able to enjoy it from her lawn chair it's going to be fantastic we'll take a look at your first at Carol's first full week of retirement coming up in the eight-day forecast right now back to Todd that's right. Thanks, Andrew. It is Carol's final night. We will look back at her career and hear more from former colleagues about her retirement. Stay with us. That's next. If you smoked, get scanned. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. Welcome to America Sims! It's the exciting new game of fill-in-the-blank fun. Is B for baking. Ah! With a bring on the laughs host. When I think about baseball, I think about Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis, of course, great baseball player. He'd slide into home plate and tap dance on it. Are you ready for this? Yeah. John Michael Higgins hosts America Says. Weekdays at 2 p.m. on Local News 8. This segment of the news is brought to you by Carpet One, home of the beautiful guarantee. Tonight is the night, Carol. Mm -hmm. Consider this newscast the start of your retirement party. Yeah, it, you've had, it's been a good day. It has been a great day. We've had cake. Yep. <laughs> We've had flowers. Tons of flowers. Lots of phone calls, lots of pretend hugs, you know, air hugs. Yeah, yeah, a lot of, we took some photos. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's been a great day. Well, a person you uh, share a lot of time on the air with uh, has been missing this week. He, he should be the one to kick off your tribute to you. Thank you. Hi, Carol. We just wanted to say happy retirement from the Coates family. Sorry we couldn't be there this week, but you have been a part of our family since the very beginning. Since I showed up on your front doorstep on that one fateful Thanksgiving and your husband having no clue who I was. And you were also at our wedding. Yeah, and you were there for the birth of all four of these children. Carol, you have been a part of so many people's families. Now it's time for you to get to enjoy yours. We love you so very much and we are so excited for you. Happy retirement from the Coates family. We love you. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> I love all of them too. Yeah. Uh, what a, what a crew! And you know, I was even there when they got radar. <laughs> the dog, yes. Yes, and yeah. I took care of radar a few times, and then radar can reach the middle of the island in our kitchen, and he he ate my lasagna, and uh, I didn't volunteer quite as often after that <laughs> to take care of radar. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, we have heard from people here locally, and last night we heard from people in Salt Lake yeah, City. Yeah, that was fun. That was a big surprise. Uh -huh. Here's one from someone in the western part of the state. 
Hey Carol, it's your old friend Mark Browning from over here in Meridian. I cannot believe this day is finally here. I just never thought I'd see the day where we didn't have Carol Honus on the air bringing us the news of the day and being the public watchdog. What you've done for the viewers of Eastern Idaho, it'll never be equaled. You just, you are the GOAT. You're the greatest of all time. My dear friend, I just love you and miss you and the adventures that you and Kenny are gonna have now. Go and, and enjoy, just have a great time. So. Happy retirement, Carol. Kim and I are just so happy for the two of you. Enjoy it, enjoy those grandkids. We love you, Carol. We had some great years together. Yeah. 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 Mark started Sportsline, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. um, oh, that was crazy. Friday nights was hectic crazy. It was hectic crazy. We did not have the technology we have today. Oh, and, no. Uh, yeah, I, he is like a brother to me. Uh, his dad was the bishop that told me it was okay to swear at cows. You know, that's okay. He said Could, he talked to God and yeah. he got that. They special. both looked really good too. They I haven't seen fabulous. it for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. to hear from Mark. Well, tonight it seems that uh, we're not only looking at your past, we're getting to get a little glimpse of familiar faces as well. Here's another former Local News 8 member. Oh. Hey, Carol. I am so happy that you're retiring, mainly because it'll give us more time to hang out together. But I wanted to congratulate you, not just on your retirement, but on your incredible career. You've influenced and inspired so many people, those that you've worked with and also those who have watched you. You're a remarkable journalist and an even more incredible person. I wish you all the happiness in the world and I can't wait to see the next chapter in the story of Carol Honus. <laughs> Which will take place on her deck overlooking the Snake River drinking wine. So there you Perfect. go. Okay. <laughs> Picture she, that. She would know about chapters. She writes those <laughs> She's an books. author. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. B, thanks so much for that. Okay. Well, you announced this last person's retirement. <laughs> he announced yours. It's only fitting that the final farewell be from Jay Hildebrandt. Hi, Carol. Just wanted to wish you well again on your retirement. You know, we were the Jay and Carol team for almost 30 years. And during that time, I saw the impact you had on so many levels. First, on the viewers who counted on you every night to bring them their news in a professional yet very friendly manner. And then there were all those anchors and reporters and producers that came through. This was their first job and you were always a mentor and kind of a mother figure to them. You really took them under your wing. And finally, Carol, there's the impact you've had on me in my life. I feel so lucky to have worked with you as a friend and colleague for all those 30 years. Once again, all the best in retirement. Those are all great messages, aren't they? Very, mm. very nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to keep moving along here. Clearly, the work you have done has meant a lot to a lot of people. It's been quite the journey and one that many of our viewers have been able to tag along with. Time for a soda? I sure do. A large one. A small one. They're out there. Hundreds, maybe thousands of them. Early in the morning, and this time at night, armed with nothing more than an ugly commuter run. We were whisked away to the makeup room. They planned for Jay and I to shoot some promos with Charlie later, and they wanted us to look perfect. All your favorite ABC programs like Good Morning America are here on Idaho 8. All your favorites, all on one station. And all on Idaho 8 TV. Started with great excitement, ended in a bit of disappointment for those INL workers who built the space battery that's inside the New Horizons spacecraft. The mission consists of a flyby of Jupiter and then on to Pocatello. Pluto. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All <laughs> the way to Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Pluto. The only unexplored planet in our solar system is Pluto. On us live at the Eastern Idaho State Fair, where we're enjoying the poop. People, <laughs> the fun, the food, and of course, really, the food. Jamie. I'm so, Jamie, Michael. tell us again how it's going to look tonight. Jamie. I'm actually Michael. <laughs> Sorry. No, people yeah. actually think we're brothers because we got the same kind of haircut. I, did, I didn't call you Crystal at least. It, sure, it certainly is, Todd. We have the uh, whole place just set up with the finest china, and we are just so excited to be here. This kind of will give you an idea of what one of the, the fancier big balls will be like in eastern Idaho as we ring in the year 2000. It's a very elegant affair, and frankly, it's the first time the Holiday Inn has ever tried to put something like that on, so we thought we'd talk to the gal in charge, Jenny Crawford, and see if she's still sane. At 10 o'clock, find out what's being done to help get our kids on their lives back together and a surprise boom sends a funny smell into the air find out what <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> did they did they pull out the blooper reel or what? I don't know where they got those. I haven't seen those for quite a while, but I do remember Jay. <laughs> Jay would say things sometimes that I would have another meaning for me, so it would hit yeah. my funny bone. So that was yeah. funny. Yeah. Do you do you? Uh, Thirty years is a lot, but do you have a favorite memory of some of your time doing the news? Um, you know, no, I don't have a favorite. There's it probably just, too many. Yeah, there's just it. it it was just all, it was so fast, Todd. Mm. Um, and I warned you about that. that yeah. You know, your, your life will just go by so fast. Um, and that was just such a big chunk of mine. Such an important time. Uh, you, know, you know, we had more than anything here. Uh, laughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was just times where I thought, I cannot get in that car one more time and drive Tidal Falls. I can't do it. And I'd make myself do it, and I'd be laughing in that newsroom within 30 seconds of walking in, so, yeah. Can I just throw one out here? Because yeah. Dave's here off to the side, uh -huh. right? one of our photographers. <laughs> well, not the do driving you, one. Do you remember? I nearly <laughs> killed you guys, I know. <laughs> He's laughing already. <laughs> but our, our red eye runs to the legislature <laughs> over to Boise and back in the same day. Yep. You go over and then you cover it and then you come back. We yep. said we'd never do that again. Nope. And I, re I remember trying to eat a French dip <laughs> in the back seat with Dave in the front and Carol driving. We couldn't wait to get the first rest stop so we could change chairs. <laughs> it might not be my strong point. Okay? Backseat French dip with yaw juice, it doesn't work. I, I remember I took a, I thought it was the exit and it was a rest area. <laughs> and I, we came in hot. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is stone sober too. I mean, that's just, oh. that's just. But we've had fun times like that. <sighs> and if you ever go on a trip with Carol, she's always got treats. In her, in her bag, you know, and Dave's nodding, you know, she had cookies <laughs> and she had granola and she had any kind of licorice, any kind of treat you wanted. Well, I always wanted to keep us awake because we did do those days. They were yeah. horrible. You they were 16, 18 hour days and we'd be tired when we were driving yeah. home. So. You took good care of us. Uh, I did take good care of you and a whole lot of people in the newsroom and it was the, one of the greatest pleasures of my life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a little more here toward the end of the newscast. I don't know how much more I can take, but somebody's going to have to. I need makeup <laughs> and I need a Kleenex. So. Okay, we'll get the Kleenex. But <laughs> okay. we're going to take, I think we're taking a quick break. We'll All come right. back with weather. More retirement fun memories at the end of the newscast. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. It's time to relax in your very own customizable, energy efficient Bullfrog Spa. Don't miss your chance to get up to 20% off your beautiful new hot tub with 0% financing for 48 months OAC. The Bullfrog Spa's Labor Day sale is happening now in our Bullfrog Factory Store, 560 East Anderson Street, in the old Pinecrest Event Center in Idaho Falls. Sale ends Labor Day. Bullfrog Spa's peaceful body, peaceful mind, peaceful home. The rule of three states, things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs, one GMC. Now everyone can get GM employee pricing on most 2020 GMC SUV models. Use it to get nearly 7,600 total value on this Yukon Denali. See your East Idaho GMC dealers. The Local News 8 Skycam Network is sponsored by Curtis Porter and Adams. Injured in an accident? Free consultation. If we don't win, you don't pay. Ashley Home Store. This is home in Twin Falls, Idaho Falls, and Pocatello. Hands of Hope. Home Health and Hospice. Helping make each day count. When buying, selling, or investing in real estate, contact Jim at jimwinmiller.com. And now, your first alert weather. Here's your live view over Idaho Falls where we're enjoying a beautiful sunny day. Lots of blue sky out there. Temperatures are hanging out into the low 80s. Just fantastic weather. No wind right now in Idaho Falls. We're seeing breezes just around 5 miles per hour near Pocatello with a little bit of some rain along the Idaho Nevada border move tracking right towards Twin Falls. But we're going to avoid that into our half of the state today. We're seeing just a few showers into central Idaho, but that activity stays into the mountains and eastern Idaho stays nice and dry until tonight. We could see a couple sprinkles overnight tonight, but no sort of washout planned here. Just a few showers as that storm system finally migrates uh, eastward 
by about 10 p.m. looking at some activity getting closer to Pocatello. A few sprinkles overnight tonight, 6 a.m. looking at some activity, but after that, nice and dry all through your day Saturday. It's going to be another beautiful morning ahead of a windy afternoon. Uh, we have a shift in the weather pattern headed our way for your Sunday and Monday with cooler weather at that point. Uh, it happens as the high pressure that's been set up to our south finally heads out of the area and we will watch a low pressure system dip right on in. It's going to bring a cold air mass from the north and see temperatures much cooler than what we're expecting tomorrow where we will be right up against 90 degrees for McCammon and Malad, 85 anticipated for Preston into Jackson. We'll look for a high of 81 with low 80s also anticipated through uh, the Upper Snake River Plain, Rexburg, St. Anthony, Dubois, all around 83 degrees. Into Central Idaho, Salmon will top out at 86 degrees. We'll look for 79 in Ketchum and Mackey with 83 in Arco. Pocatello will top out short of 90 degrees, I suspect. 84 in Idaho Falls as your high. And then things really begin to cool down. Sunday, we just hit low 70s and then low 60s for your Monday before we gradually warm back up towards the latter half of the week. The good news is this is not our final decline into winter. We still have some summer ahead of us. We'll be hitting mid 80s again by Thursday and Friday of next week after we see a high of just 69 with some wind and rain for your Monday. Rexburg looking at low 60s, just struggling to escape the 50s by Monday afternoon. An overnight low of 35 into your Tuesday, so uh, pretty cold conditions overnight. You'll see especially into Jackson, 70s and 80s on the way for the second half of the week for Blackfoot. Salmon's going to be looking at 71 Sunday, 62 Monday before we get a chance to warm up. Uh, again, a red flag warning in place Saturday and Sunday as those winds take effect. We will be looking for just 70s into Tuesday, Wednesday, 80 by Thursday, though. So more summertime weather ahead. You just got to wait for it. We'll be right back after this break. Over the last 100 years, we've seen lots of changes. But through the last 10 decades, one thing hasn't changed. Valleywide Cooperative. Valleywide Cooperative remains as committed to serving our communities and members today as we did back in 1920 as your one stop for energy, agriculture, and farm supply stores. Valleywide Cooperative. Farmer owned and celebrating 100 years of giving back. The wonderful thing about the all new Subaru Outback is it's a Subaru. Today we drove to the Portliff Greenway where we're going to take a little walk. So what's your favorite thing about the new Outback? Are we just talking or is this a commercial, Dad? Just talking. I really like the large touch screen. 360 visibility, all around awareness. Hey, are we talking or walking? Filmeter Subaru in Pocatello. You forgot to say Idaho's car from Idaho's dealer. Right. Shop now during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Staying up to date on immunizations is an easy way to keep our community safe. Make the choice to vaccinate. And now, Sportsline. The NBA announced its revised playoff schedule today after it took a couple of days off to focus on racial and social issues. The playoffs will resume tomorrow with a triple header. The Jazz will play on Sunday night at 6.30 p.m. on TNT. Utah leads the Nuggets 30-2 and can move on to the second round with a win on Sunday. The winner of this series will play either the Clippers or the Mavericks. They play their game six Sunday at 1.30. Los Angeles leads that series 3-2. The first full day of high school football is finally here, and as usual, the season in East Idaho kicks off with the Rocky Mountain Rumble. Adrian Loeveno has a preview from Rexburg. Same Rocky Mountain Rumble, same great games, but instead we're in Rexburg at Bobcat Stadium. Instead of a whole arena down in Pocatello, that is due to Idaho State saying no high school games can take place on their campus. The first game of this one is Mountain Crest taking on Bonneville. It's the first game of the season for the Bees in the nightcap. At 7 p.m., Pocatello will take on Madison. Both teams made it to the playoffs last year, and both teams looking to start their seasons off with a win. We're going to have a ton of highlights tonight on Fox 5 at 1035. Dylan, our first full football Friday is finally here. Can't wait to be in the studio. It's going to be fun. The Rocky Mountain Rumble is part of our East Idaho Game Night Series powered by IdahoSports.com. Today's lineup includes the Bonneville game that Adrian mentioned. Of course, Madison at Pocatello tonight at 7 p.m. and Hillcrest at Idaho Falls. It also includes Saturday's action at the Rocky Mountain Rumble. Rigby playing at 4 p.m. Highland at 7 p.m. To watch the game streams, click on the East Idaho Game Night picture on the sports page of localnews8.com. Each uh, game costs $5 to watch. Half of the money goes to the host schools. 
We'll have highlights from those games and plenty more coming up tonight on Friday Night Sports Line. You can watch it at 1035 at our sister station, KXBA Fox 5, or streaming live on our website at localnews8.com. We love you, Carol. We'll be right back. Social distancing does not have to lead to social isolation. We can take care of each other during this crisis. Reach out to loved ones, friends, neighbors, and colleagues to see if they have the care and support they need and if they feel safe at home. If you're concerned about the safety of someone you care about, the Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Center can help. Call now, 208-529-4352. Wake up with local news 8 in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. You can obtain a 30-day supply of personal protective equipment. It's the best way to find out which roads are closed due to construction. Reliable forecasts to track the sun and rain. The local news that matters to you. And the news that happened throughout the night. It's the best way to be informed and to start your day. Local news 8 in the morning. The official show of morning people. New beginning, new life, new identity. <laughs> they crossed the border and reached the American dream. Good morning. How is my beautiful Russian doll? Now they live in secret as part of the witness protection program. <laughs> if they return to Mexico, they'll lose it all. <laughs> it's time to face the demons from his past. <laughs> Falsa Identidad. New season, September 22nd, 10, 9 Central on Telemundo. <laughs> All right, everyone, uh, it is time. Uh, so many of you have said goodbye to me over this last month, and now it's time for me to get to say goodbye. Uh, I am retiring in about five minutes, Todd. <laughs> you know, we only got to anchor together for uh, nine months, uh, and that really, it didn't feel like enough. It was a weird uh, nine months, wasn't we it? We were having fun, yep. Yeah. Uh, six of those, we had to sit <laughs> six like feet apart in our box. You know, we yeah. can't punch out of the box. It's called social distancing, it's for safety. And I hate it, but I didn't want you to forget me since we didn't get to sit right by each other. So I brought you this small token that I thought you could <laughs> <laughs> hang on the wall by your desk. Yes. So you wouldn't forget me. So this is just just for the decoration and okay. you know. Okay. All you right. will remember all the things I said. So I'll, I'll slide that over to you. <laughs> that is for you. Okay, now I'm keep that. <laughs> just a little token. Uh, it is with great pleasure now that I get to introduce my replacement, okay? Bree Clark is gonna be joining Todd on the local News 8 anchor desk beginning tonight at 10 o'clock. Now, Bree's not a newcomer, I can tell you that. <laughs> she worked here as a reporter and a weekend anchor several years ago, and then she happily agreed to uh, come back when I announced my retirement. She didn't wanna come to bump me out <laughs> she, she she called me immediately after they made the call to her and uh, and she said are you are you happy are you retiring do you want to go i said yes 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 yeah. happy brie loves idaho she was thrilled to come back and that was the only thing i needed to know to welcome her so uh it's it's going to be a great ride for you yeah a great well ride. i mean it's a it's a dream come true i mean it's a bittersweet day you know because i i'm <sighs> I mean, I always wanted to be able to come back, and a lot of you know Texans are going to be mad at me for saying this, but this place is really home. I can't think of a better place to raise my son. You know, convincing my husband was the hard part. Uh, <laughs> I now have big, I have big shoes to fill. I mean, guys, she's the one who trained me. So I so, did. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely no one can replace you, Carol. And um, I don't want anyone. I, no. You can replace me. You won't be Carol Honus. Yeah. You'll be Bree Clark. You will bring be incredible <laughs> talents to this table that I could never do. So, listen, I got you this because I thought you might need a first aid kit. And so, this is what always worked oh, for me. Oh, yes! All the emergency candies. I can't remember how many times I started crying and you would get me candy on a hard reporting day. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what I do. So. Yes. Thank you so much, Carol. <laughs> yes, yes. You, you, uh, chocolate will get you through. Yeah. Just about anything. Yeah. You're going to be great. Thank you so much, Carol. Finally, I just want to say goodbye to you, our viewers. Uh, and I don't know how to wrap up a 30 year relationship with you. Um, you guys let this really tall, loud, boisterous, gregarious woman into your home every night. Night after night, you just let me be me. 
uh, the consultants would try to change my style and you'd just keep loving me. So uh, here's what I'm retiring to. My beautiful, my beautiful, my beautiful. Entertainment Tonight is coming up next.